pricing higher than expected at $19 per share, Cafe Press raised $86 million in its initial public offering. The venture-backed e-commerce company lists on the NASDAQ today under the ticker PRSS. I'm joined by Bob Marino, CEO of Cafe Press Inc. Congratulations. Thank you, Katie. So what are you going to do with the proceeds from the offering? The proceeds are going to allow us to even accelerate uh, our participation to grow our business dimensionally, meaning we can grow now more base goods, to also form new partnerships that bring us the content that we print on those base goods, and also allow us to bring our destinations, our websites, to more and more places in the world. Cafe Press has made a handful of acquisitions. Most recently, you announced t-shirt competitor Logoed Software. Why are you making that purchase? That purchase uh, is really synergistic, as have been all of the acquisitions that we've done. We want to now better address those customers that come to us naturally with the gear and the technology that Logo Sportswear Group provides. Do you plan on making any other acquisitions? Proceeds uh, will be dedicated to other synergistic growth that we have. Um, and we're not trying to do a roll-up strategy for our top line. Instead, what we're trying to do is find these companies that fit a niche that we don't yet play in. So they would bring us either a path to a customer group or they bring us technology that enable us to do still further additional consumer products. Year over year, revenues are up as are profits. How do you plan to maintain that trajectory amidst competition from the likes of Amazon and eBay? Amazon and eBay, we consider them channel partners. They reach an audience, but we have these unique things that no other company has. This massive array of content that has been provided to us by the millions of designers that we have over the last 10 years. Plus this brilliant technology that we developed over that same period of time. That allows us to make products that are special and unique, but to make them to a unit of one and still be profitable at doing that. That's not something that any other company possesses. So we take those strengths and we bring them to companies such as eBay and Amazon so that they can bring a custom and unique product solution to their audience. And we do this for other e-commerce companies as well. Given that you're primarily in the customized goods business, are you at all concerned that as technology evolves, people will be able to customize their own goods? I really hope that technology evolves so that people can do this at home because that really makes the whole um, creation process more mainstream. And the more mainstream it is, the, the better our company will do. Because what we're trying to do is not to jump into areas where the technology already exists and that's a crowded space. We actually endeavor to create our own technology, our own back-end manufacturing systems that allow us to do things that are truly unique.